Hello, uh, my name is Samir Saini, and I am a uh, gastroenterologist uh, and a professor um, at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. I'm also the director of the VA Ann Arbor um, HSRD Center for Clinical Manage Management Research. And uh, what I'm going to be doing today is talking briefly about uh, the AGA clinical practice update on deprescribing of proton pump inhibitors, um, which was co-authored with uh, Dr. Laura Targovnik, um, who's an associate professor at the University of Toronto, and Dr. Deborah Fisher, who's an associate professor at Duke University. Um, so why is this topic important? Um, well, PPIs are amongst the most commonly used medications in the world. And while these medications are highly effective for acid mediated upper GI conditions, they're increasingly being used where their benefits are less certain. In a nutshell, these medications are overused um, and overuse is costly and could even be harmful. So we really need some guidance on how to deprescribe PPIs in a safe and effective way. So what we did is our team um, used a systematic approach to develop 10 best practice advice statements around PPI deprescribing. Our guiding principle was that although PPIs are generally safe, patients should not use a medication if, if there's not a reasonable expectation of benefit based on evidence or on prior treatment response. We came up with three general domains that warranted guidance. The first was that we wanted to make sure that there's documentation of PPI indication. Anytime someone's on a PPI, we really think the reason for their being on a PPI should be documented by a clinician. This is the first step towards safe and effective deprescribing. The second domain is identifying suitable candidates for deprescribing. We also talk about the importance of uh, assessing GI bleeding risk. And finally, the third domain is optimizing successful deprescribing. Um, in the clinical practice update, we discuss issues such as rebound acid hypersecretion and the role of tapering. So I'm gonna stop there, um, but if you wanna learn more, please read the clinical practice update on management of proton pump inhibitor cessation published in the journal Gastroenterology. Thanks so much.